how to solve a law of sines word problem. So the first thing you need to do is draw a diagram of the problem. So I'll go ahead and read the problem for you first. A hiker plans to hike up and down a mountain from one end to another in a straight path. The angle of elevation from the starting point is 42.4 degrees and from the end point is 48.3 degrees. The horizontal distance between the start and end is 19.06 miles. Find the distance the hiker will travel around the nearest tenth. All right, so the first part, so let's go ahead and draw this. Here we go. All right, so he hikes up and then he hikes down, right? Okay. So here's the hike up, here's the hike down. Here is if he was able to go through the mountain, right? So remember the angle of elevation from the starting point is 42.4 degrees. So that means this angle is 42.4. From the end point, 48.3, right? That's what this means here. So this angle is 48.3 degrees. They also tell us that the distance from the starting to the end if we went through the mountain is 19.06 miles, all right? I'm also going to go ahead and label this as side A and this is side B. And you'll see why very soon. OK, the next thing that I think makes it easy is to fi fill in any missing angles. And you, you need that when we're solving for lots of different things, as you'll see. So here we go. So we're going to fill in the missing angle. And I got 89.3 here because I added up these two guys. Okay, and then I subtract that from 180. All right, and just a quick reminder, and why subtract from 180 is the sum of all the internal angles in a triangle is always 180. Okay, so if you know two, you can always find the third one. All right, so now here we go. Now we can set up the law of sines ratios. So this is how the ratios look. Okay, so if you know a side A and it's opposite angle, then you can use that to solve other things, or B and it's opposite um, angle and so on. <clears throat> and that's why I just put these labels here. And it actually doesn't matter what you call these. You can call it X and Y, hot dog, hamburger, whatever, as long as you're consistent. All right, so right here I have A over the opposite angle, which is 48.3, so sine of 48.3, and then b over, and this is 42.4 degrees, right? So we put sine of 42.4 degrees, and then this one is um, c is actually here, right? And then its opposite angle is 89.3 degrees. <clears throat> okay, so now that we have this nice ratio here, or these ratios here, excuse me. We can solve for the unknowns, OK? So to solve for A, we just use this one, because this, we know both the numerator and denominator, which makes it nice. Here we know the denominator. So all we have is one unknown, right? So we can ignore this guy for now, and then just do this, right? And then solve. And over here is the same thing. So I know these two, and I can use the same ratio. All you have to do is know one of them. Right? Then you can solve for the other guys. Okay? So then I have this here. I plugged into my handy dandy calculator here. And this is rounds really close to one. Right? This is about this. And then do some magical cross multiplying and solving. And we get these two answers here. Okay? And then remember so A is then 14.295 miles, and B is 12.77 miles here. So if we add that up, okay, we get 27.07 miles. Don't forget to add the units, okay? And that completes our problem.